So after two days of practicing, I actually cleaned everything up and put the turntable away and found this really handy box that I got, I think, from B&M, just to store everything away. She has all these weird shapes that she moves into when she's sleeping. So this container is really handy because when I'm not using the turntable, everything packs away nicely in there. And when I'm using the turntable, then I can fill this up with water and put the lid on um, to avoid any spillage when I'm not using it. So, hello, you awake now? So I'm going to fill this up with water and then start wedging the clay. So after experimenting with this das terracotta clay, for some reason it didn't quite like being cold and molded on the turntable. So I decided to go and get this one again from Hobbycraft. I did read some reviews on it and they said it was almost like using real clay and it's also air drying. So I'm going to experiment with that today and I was thinking of still trying with this one, see whether it works. Usually me and my daughters use this clay, so this usually works well when using by hand, so I'm not sure how this will perform on the turntable. I watched a few YouTube videos to see the proper way of wedging and I'll link them below. So I'm going to attempt to do, I think it's called the ram's head, and try and wedge enough clay for me to use for this project. And the rest of it I'm just going to seal it up and put it away because this is air drying. So if it's not sealed properly, it will just go hard. So I think the idea is to create the ram's head, you have to squeeze inside and then outwards. I don't know how to describe it, but you sort of turn it. It's very hard at first, but then it softens up. And this is like to ensure that you take all the air out. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. It's always daunting trying something new and wondering whether it's worth the effort if in the end it doesn't work out. But it's all about trying. I'll do a few more because I can't really feel the clay softening up yet. It's a little bit softer than when I started out. I think I'm going to cut it up into three small balls because I am going to be using a mini turntable. So I don't want the clay to be too big. I think this is good enough. I'm going to try with this. It's all to try and experiment and see what I come up with. So I think what you're supposed to do is try and center the clay as much as possible. So centering is very important and that is what will either help you to successfully throw or it just won't work. So centering is very important and so I think on the second day I spent a very long time just learning how to center but it has been a few days since then so I'm not sure if this is going to work and I'm going to wet the turntable a little bit so I'm literally just going to slam it down and hopefully it will stick. I didn't get it centered. I'm just going to Press it down on the sides to make sure it stays there. Well, it's already cracking up, so I'm going to add water and then try and center it. I don't even know if I've over wedged this clay, I don't know if there is such a thing. So I'm just sealing the edges now so it stays, and then I'm going to try and center it. And you can hear it's going quite wild because it's not centered.
Today is the 4th of June, so I've run into the next month because I have quite a few things packed in for this vlog. These are all the clay pieces I've done so far using the Argyle clay. So these are from day one, these are from day two, and these are from day three. This is something my husband did last night. That was his first goal, and this is the excess clay he left after doing this pot. I also experimented with the white air drying clay, but I have to say it took me ages just to be able to get the shape on the turntable and it was very hard to work with and the texture felt quite plasticky. This was the excess clay left from just doing this tiny little pot. It's quite squidgy and I just don't think this clay works as well as the argar clay if you're going to use it using a turntable. So now that I've had a bit more experience in using the turntable, I thought I'd try the terracotta clay again and see if I can improve on what I did last time. So just to be fair, I want to give the terracotta one um, another go and see how it turns out. And these are some of the clay projects my daughters did yesterday. They're actually waiting to come in so they can do some more today. So I think I'll get them to use this excess clay up just so it doesn't go to waste. So I'm going to finish off using this clay and just use them up. Then I'm going to try and experiment again with the terracotta clay. It's now Tuesday the 7th of June and I finally managed to finish all the pots. I did experiment with the terracotta clay but again it was a bit too complicated I think just to use it directly on its own. So this one I used just the terracotta clay on its own and it was really difficult to shape it just kept breaking and with these ones you can see they're a bit lighter because they're a mix of the argar clay with the terracotta they still feel quite rubbery but they were much more manageable and some of these are still drying most of them are already dry i dropped this one about twice already um so it's like got a dent i'm hoping it'll look a bit better once i've painted it up and this was the last one that i did using the argyle clay um, so it's still quite wet so just waiting for that to dry and then I can start sanding all of them down and then painting them up. Um, it's going to take ages to paint them all up so I'm not going to show that on this vlog and they're all drying at different stages um, obviously because they were made on different days. In the next vlog I will be showing how I paint these using the new acrylic paint so if you are interested in that video then look out for the next vlog and subscribe for more upcoming videos. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and have fun creating and crafting whatever it is that you're doing and I'll see you soon in the next video. Say bye Nola! Say bye! Bye bye!